Hi guys, my name is Susanna and I'm a first year student of communication media at the University of Liverpool and today I'll be your tour guide. We're at the University Square now where students come for welcome activities, graduation pictures and a regular farmer's market. And this right there was actually the original Red Brick University founded in 1881. I'm gonna take you through the campus today, but down that road, like 10 minutes down that road, is the whole city center. We're now in the central campus, which is home to the physical and environmental sciences, including areas like maths, physics, and chemistry. Here you also find a lot of student services, as well as the student union, and the sports and fitness center, as well as the Crown Place halls of residence. Here's the career studio. It's available to all students from your first day here and you can always pop in at any time that suits you. You don't need to make any appointments. It's also great because it's peer-to-peer -peer led, which means it's run by student career coaches and they help you with everything from finding a part-time jobs and applying for placements to, you know, exploring your career options. Right next to Career Studios, we also have the student services and you can make an appointment or drop in at any time that suits you and you can ask any, for anything relating well-being or money advice or mental health support and advice for international students. The university life is also about the non-academic activities and having fun and you can do that by meeting new people or meeting up with your friends for drinks or joining gigs and concerts and joining societies and all that you can do at our Guild of Students, our Students Union. There's 200 societies at the Guild and you can literally find anything that interests you. And if you don't, you can always start your own society. And again, our career studio. And also we've got a great pub at the campus. It's really sweet and it's a great place to relax in between our classes or like whatever folds your boat, I guess. <laughs> This is the Central Teaching Hub and it has some of the biggest lecture halls at the campus and really whatever degree you're studying you're probably going to have some sessions here as well. And here's the Central Teaching Labs for all the science-based degrees. This is Crown Place, one of our on-campus halls of residence. You can live with five to ten people there, it's all safe catered, so you're using the same living room and kitchen. But if you don't want to live on campus, we also have Greenbank Student Village off campus, like 20 minutes by bus. And this is the fitness and sports center, and the membership for that is available to both students and staff. And they've got the gym there, they've got a couple of sports halls and swimming pool, dance studios and even a bouldering wall. And in fact, you can take part in more than 50 different sports clubs, so it's pretty easy to stay active. We're right here and we're gonna go on and explore the South Campus, which is home to the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. That includes music, law, my department, which is communication media, and many more. So let's just go check it out. This is the Abercrombie Square and it's the center of the South Campus. And actually this part of the campus is for more humanities-based students and this square in particular is a great place for you to be if you ever wanted to study outside or just relax and grab a drink with your friends. And actually it's really sunny today, so yeah, you might as well go out. This is the Sydney Jones Library and it's one of the two libraries we've got at the university. This one holds collections for all the humanities and social sciences subjects and it's worth mentioning that both libraries are open 24-7. And for me, at this library, my favorite space is the basement group study space. This gold building is the brand new School of Law and Social Justice and it includes law, sociology, criminology and social policy. These beautiful buildings behind me is the management school where you can take subjects like marketing, international business and accounting. This building was recently extended and includes two lots of teaching space, a state-of-the-art Bloomberg suite and a professional boardroom. This is Vinecourt, it's one of our on-campus halls of residence and if you're looking for a catered option, that would be the place for you. It's also worth mentioning that all our accommodation have a residential advisor as well as security, so you always feel safe and you always have somebody to talk to. From here we're going to head back to the University Square and I'm going to take you through the North Campus. 
And here we are, this is the North Campus. It's home to two faculties, the Science and Engineering Faculty and the Health and Life Sciences as well. The North Campus also has the original Red Big Building, which is now the Victoria Gallery and Museum. And it has around eight art galleries, a museum and a cafe, all free for students. And this is the Harold Cohen Library. It's one of two libraries at the university. And this one has everything for science-based degrees. And fun fact, it's got over 12 miles of shelving here. We're just going to walk through the North Campus and what's actually interesting is that even though I'm studying communication media and I'm mostly based in the South Campus, I still had sessions up here so I still got to see all those beautiful buildings and actually, you know, experience the oldness of them, if you will. We're now at the edge of the North Campus and this is our School of Medicine here. We also have our dental school here and the dental hospital as well as the Royal Hospital which is really cool because our medicine students can get their practical training in here and that's our cancer center as well. These buildings are all a part of the School of Life Sciences and it's one of the biggest in the UK. And they've got like a ton of labs and believe me, I'm sure you're gonna have a great time. We're now at the Quadrangle, which to be fair is personally my favorite spot because you still get all the nice views, but it's also pretty quiet and kind of hidden as well. Located around here is the Department of Computer Science, the School of Health Sciences, and the School of Engineering. And Harrison Hughes Building has two flight simulators for use for students studying aerospace engineering. Along here we've got our School of Vet Science, but apart from this, we also have labs and a small animal practice on campus. We also have our Lee Horse campus over at the Whittle, which includes two farms and two animal hospitals. Also around here are our National Oceanography Center and various buildings for our School of Earth and Ocean Sciences. We're now back at the University Square and we're just gonna wrap up the campus tour. It's all from me, but thank you so much for tuning in and I really hope to see you at the University of Liverpool. Good luck with your future studies, bye!